Hello everyone, it's Laura. Um, today we're going to make like a stress ball to help you if you're feeling a bit agitated, stressed um, or like a fidget ball so someone something to play with when you're just chilling at home. Okay, so what we're going to need is a balloon, some flour, little teaspoon and then if you've got a funnel um, at home, which you might if you do lots of baking, then you can use that but if not you just need an uh, empty plastic bottle and some scissors and we'll make the funnel ourselves probably best if you get a parent to help you with this obviously because the uh, scissors can be quite sharp i've pierced a hole into my bottle just above the label and i'm just going to cut all the way around to make my funnel because i don't have one okay easy as that I'm just going to dry it to make sure it's not the flour won't stick to it. Okay, put that there. Next, we want to be able to stretch our balloon. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Maybe you can blow it up once. Ah, let it go. Keep stretching. Okay, and then once you've done that, when you think it's been stretched enough. You can put the balloon over the top of the lid or the funnel like this okay so that's what it looks like and then I'm gonna take the lid off my flour and I'm gonna put my first teaspoon of flour into the funnel and again Give it a little shake and you can use the other end of the teaspoon. Just help it go down a bit. Okay. So that's all in. A little bit more. Helping it go down every time. You can decide how big you want it guys. So I made one. It's just a little one that's not really that big, but it still works. You can press it and it's like that. I think I'm going to try and make this one a little bit bigger, so I'll use some more flour. Give it a shake, let it go down the funnel. Another teaspoon. Push down into the balloon now so it's all coming off the sides. But you have to be really gentle guys, you don't want to damage the balloon. Da -da -da. Give it a stretch there, see how it's doing. Might put one more teaspoon in. Give it a stir. This is a quick and easy one to do, guys. You could do other ones where you could put, if you've got beads, you could put beads inside. Use the same funnel technique to get them inside. Um, and that gives it a bit more of texture. I don't have any beads laying around, but if you guys do, like beads to, that you make jewellery with or hammer beads, anything that you can find that it's okay to put in and will feel nice when you hang it. Okay, so I think, yeah, that's a bit more. I'm going to take it off over the flower so I don't make a mess everywhere. That in there, and I've got my balloon here, guys. I'm gonna tie a knot. There we go, I've got my stress ball balloon, fidget balloon. Got two of them. Enjoy doing that, then, guys.